Good Monday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here, and needless to say, it is going to be a pretty soggy week ahead. It's an interesting pattern for the summertime. We typically don't see low pressure systems stall in the summer like this, but this is a rare case where we've had a wild pattern in the jet stream, which is producing this stalled front. Now, this low pressure system back to the west, you could clearly see it there north of Nashville. Essentially, what's going to happen this week and why it's going to be so wet is that low is going to stall somewhere in this vicinity. Now, is it going to be stationary the whole time? Probably not. It's going to meander around, do one of these, and just kind of sit here. But the counterclockwise flow around it is going to continue to usher in waves of energy and also moisture from the Atlantic. High pressure to our northeast could help enhance this. So like we're seeing out there today, you see the first initial, ba initial batch of showers and thunderstorms. We will see waves of rain. Is it going to rain the entire week? Not every hour of every day, but you'll see these waves of rain where you get a four or five hour window of rain, then a lull, then a four or five hour window of rain. That's kind of the way it's going to go. So there will be some breaks. I don't want to um, tell you it's going to rain the whole time, but I'm also not going to sugarcoat it. It's a pretty soggy week. I mean, this setup is pretty nasty for rainfall. We could see uh, just wave after wave of rain this week. Let's get to the future cast and kind of show you how this sets up. All right, so I'll start first with the short range guidance, and it kind of shows you we've got these waves of showers and storms coming through today. You see the low back there north of Nashville. This is going into tonight. We'll go into tomorrow morning. Waves of rain continuing to push in. Again, this is a 60-hour loop here. You see maybe a break, but the mountains and foothills could see the heaviest rain. Because remember, even when there's not waves of rain, this southeast flow is going to interact with the Blue Ridge and the escarpment, the area that faces southeast right in here, is probably going to have showers just sit there and dump rain, 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 and more rain over the next couple of days. As we get into the heating of the day, we see pop-up showers and storms re-enhance themselves, so you see more widespread rain. You get the idea. I mean, this is all the way until, you know, basically going into Tuesday, Wednesday, before we lose, you know, lose our data. So this is a 60-hour future cast. Look at the low just sitting back to our west, continuing to dump heavy rain into our region. Let's look further out in the future on the on the long range for it. All right, let's go further into the future. You see the low, kind of gives you the story here, low pressure. And I want you to see, these are the um, isobars, we call them. So where you see them kind of packed like that, that's where the low pressure is. And you'll see the spokes of energy rotating around it. Watch what happens as we go through time. You see the low just kind of sitting to our west, either over Kentucky, Tennessee, northern Alabama. You know, we go through tomorrow, tomorrow night into Wednesday. Um, let's go all the way into Thursday. <laughs> There's still rain around Thursday. We go into Friday. Um, the rain begins to break up. So there are signs maybe later this week after Friday that the low might weaken or shift out. And so going into the weekend, I'm still going to have rain in the forecast, but the chances start to dwindle down a little bit going into the weekend. So this is a five-day forecast. So you can see today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pretty soggy. But then into the weekend, it looks like the low begins to lift off and at least the wind direction changes. So again, this week is looking pretty soggy, but by the end of the week, we might actually see some breaks. Let's look at the uh, the what we call the excessive rainfall outlook. You can see our area all in that yellow and the green, which is a marginal to medium, low to medium threat for flash flooding. Tomorrow, the whole area in that yellow, that's the medium risk for flash flooding. We'll go into Wednesday, whole region again under the medium risk. We're we'll going to Thursday, medium risk still. Let's go into Friday, the risk do, goes down to low. So you get the idea, medium risk, medium risk, medium risk, medium risk. Let's look at the totals, okay? This is uh, kind of a guess right now. They, this could go up or down some localized areas more, but we've consistently seen these areas up on the Blue Ridge. I mean, look at the purples. I don't often see these on the map for a seven day rainfall forecast. Some of those are getting up into here, you know, 10, 12, 13 inches of rain. Even across the Charlotte Metro area, you're looking at five to seven inches of rain over the next seven days. This is a lot of rain, and what I will tell you right now, this will likely cause flash flooding. I almost think it's a certainty somewhere in our area is going to see flash flooding. So if you're going to be doing hiking, camping, any outdoor activities, if you live in a low-lying flood-prone area, please be weather aware this week for flash flooding. That is going to be a huge risk this week, and it could be one of those things where it builds over time. The rain today plus the rain tomorrow plus the rain on Wednesday could really lead to some excessive rainfall that eventually could cause creeks or streams to rise real quickly by the middle and end of the week. Don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a way to get warnings and please be safe. This is a definite flash flood setup 
this week.